like spoob like we gotta go solve some mysteries man <laughs> how's it going guys it's your boy blurry day back with another collection video and i've been meaning to get to this one for quite some time i just figured like you know i have a decent amount of these so i can't just not you know <laughs> i this is what i have for my scooby-doo collection uh just so that we're clear i have watched a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff growing up, so don't think this is just like the only stuff I've watched. And my my brother, the Eradicator, owns a little majority of them, like most of the classics. Um, I'm hoping that he'll get around to doing a Scooby-Doo collection haul. So yeah, uh, like I said, this is what I got, um, and this is in release order. And this is the new, like recent one that just came out. I thought it was decent. I I definitely like this one more. So um, we'll get to those what I'm talking about here. So yeah, like just in time for uh, you know with FNAF coming out and like with uh, Matthew Lillard who's still the current uh, voice for Shaggy. Um, I mean he's the ultimate definitive Shaggy. Like ever since the movies, like oh my gosh, like like he still has a man. <laughs> like Scoob, I'm the man behind the slaughter. <laughs> or are you challenging me? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Having too much fun here. So here we got a classic. It's Scooby-Doo meets Batman. The very first crossover, I believe. Uh, and the very first uh, DC crossover. Like, oh my gosh. My brother and I would watch and enjoy the crap out of this one. Like, this one comes with, like, two specials. Oh, man. I, I'm not sure if this is based on the... Uh, Either like the Adam West Batman or maybe like the Super Friends cartoon. My brother used to watch that all the time. Man, I haven't seen this in so long. I need to get around to this again. So yeah, there you go, your disc. Also, let me know in the comments, guys, how does the Scooby-Doo continuity work? Like, they keep rebooting themselves every few years, but the continuity s seems... I don't know, like, quite the same. Like, in in recent projects, they've they've referenced, like, a lot of their past stuff that they've done, but, like, they're still kids. Like, <laughs> are they stuck as being teenagers forever? Um, and, of course, Daphne was, like, I still have the hots for her because, like, she's... I mean, who, who wouldn't want to date her? Seriously. All right, here's some other classics. We got the Scooby-Doo movies, yep. My brother owned the first one for a long time. It, it was one of those like old DVD cases where it's like, um, I wish I had one to show for you guys. But you know, like those old DVD cases, especially like for Warner Brothers, like they had like these little black uh, locks for them. And then the, the, like, it wasn't like, you didn't have like a, well, half of it was plastic. The cover was like cardboard. And like, you, you get what I'm talking about? Like, even on the inside, it's on, um, again, on the cardboard, like, it shows, like, the table of contents or whatever, like, uh, I still own a couple of those, so, yeah, and personally, I love the first movie more, it's such a classic, like, sure, number two is kind of, uh, an origin story movie, so, um, and hopefully we'll get number three in the future, like, who knows, never say never, and I loved how, like, James Gunn basically produced these, like, Oh man, but if you know the dark history about the first movie, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fricked up moments. It's like, it's like, well, my grave society said, like, this movie was made for kids, but at the same time it wasn't, so at least these should have been PG-13. Oh man, I did not like the Cartoon Network, uh, remake, like, live action stuff that they came out with, like, uh, no. Oh, I forgot, okay, I thought, I thought this came with two discs. Oh, it looks like you get both movies on the same disc. Very rare occasion. I would love to get these on Blu-ray at some point. All right, here's some of the crossover actions again. So here's our second Batman crossover, Scooby-Doo and Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Man, I love this one so much because I, I grew up with Brave and the Bold. And like when, when I got the McDonald's toys, like, yeah, it was pretty cool. And when I bought this at my work, the slipcover was already ripped a little bit. So I had to like tape it up as you can see. Man, it's still, it, this already feels like a classic. Like you got that same Brave and the Bold, um, 
action and those tropes. Like, man, highly recommend this one. Just so that we're clear, I'm not going to get every Scooby-Doo release, okay? Just like just some of the ones that are my favorites. Like I have seen the the original 1960s series for sure and in also my honest opinion, the season 1 theme will always be superior to the second one cuz why they why they replace the guy with a British singer like don't do that. So we got you got your disc. Oh man, I, I really wish I have Mystery Incorporated in here. Like again, me and my brother would watch the crap out of that. Like it felt I liked that one like I don't know the most just because like they 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 did more with that show. They ki- they kind of made it serious, you know, like man, that was so cool. All right, so oh man, straight out of nowhere. Scooby Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh my gosh, this one. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love this more than this one like Oh my gosh, like, it, like, Courage, he has never changed, like, again, if you grew up, especially in the early 2000s, like, I know Courage came out in the 90s, but, like, they still have reruns, like, oh my gosh, I love Courage the Cowardly Dog, I need to start my own, like, car- Cartoon Network collection, like, oh man, I freaking love this, like, the way that these two interacted, and I remember seeing the trailer for this, like, jeez, you know this works well, like, man... Oh, I have a Cartoon Network. There we go. Oh, man. Seriously, like, old Cartoon Network will always be superior Cartoon Network. Can we all agree on that? There's still a couple of good shows out there. Like, uh, you got, like, Teen Titans Go and Gumball. I still love Gumball, yeah. Sure, the discs are a little bland, but at least, like, they give them a little bit of character. Like, they don't just, like, leave it bland like some other discs. Like, they actually put the characters on there. Oh, man. Again, highly recommend this one. All right, like I said, here's the more recent one. Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2. I thought... Because my brother and I also watched the Crypto series growing up. I thought this would be the same Crypto from that show... I mean, he does look like the same on the cover here, but he doesn't talk. Crypto is supposed to talk. That's why this one didn't click with me, because Crypto doesn't talk. He just barks. You know? Like, uh, I'm happy that Scooby has crossed over with him. Like, come on. Like, Crypto here deserves justice. Like, I, I, we, we need a proper, like, sequel for Crypto, Okay. And I, I have watched a little bit of the Scoob movie, and yeah, it's terrible. It's just freaking terrible, guys. Like, I know Warner Brothers is trying to make their cinematic universe for their um, Hanna-Barbera characters, but you got to have the original cast. Like, don't have Zac Efron voice um, Fred. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, he's just not, he's just not a good Fred. All right. Yeah. I don't know why they gave this uh like give this a clear case because again that that's the case when you buy a whole season on DVD and then you'll get a case like that. So again, kind of bland, but you got characters on there. Oh man. I was hoping I could get a lot more Scooby-Doo stuff before the movie comes out, but hey, you know what? I still have time, you know? And I have some Scooby-Doo stuff on digital, so... Alright, guys, this is my Scooby-Doo DVD collection. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please send the post notification button to share my content if you haven't already. And uh, tell me, where some other good Scooby-Doo stuff do you want me to get? Like, oh my gosh. Like, again, there's so many good ones. There's so many good classics out there. Like, um... Man, it's like, I don't even know where to start. And my brother, he's pretty much the Scoobert, right? Like, the Scooby-Doo expert, right? Like, oh, man. And I'm still happy that they have, like, the Scooby snacks out, like, again, for kids. And they have real Scooby snacks for dogs. Like, he'd tell my mom and sister, like, get the dog real Scooby snacks. Like, that'd be so funny. Um, And tell me in the comments how excited are you guys to see this man to be the man behind the slaughter. <laughs> Scoob. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. 
And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for buying me. The Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. Like, man. <laughs> Want a spooby snack? All right, bye, guys.